Carol Terra with Candid Poetry TV. We are live at Edward Waters College. The night is the Orange Crush Night. This is a night when EWC turns everything orange, just like when the Miami Heat have the white out. Everybody here tonight will have on their orange shirts in celebration of the EWC men's and women's basketball team. This is an annual thing they do every year. Everybody's excited about it. The band is here, the DJ is here, all of the students are here and live. We're going to talk to some of the students, um, some of the fans. We're going to talk to some of the faculty. Um, we're going to let them tell us about EWC, tell us about what's so great about EWC, and we're going to catch a little bit of this game. It's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. We are here with the announcer and the DJ here at EWC. Um, Josh, can you tell me a little bit about what you do here each and every? Well, basically uh, what we try to do here is uh, we try to give somewhat of an NBA type of experience here uh, at this level of basketball and uh, uh, have fun each and every year doing it. This is about my 10th, 11th year of being the announcer here uh, at Everwaters Waters College. And uh, it, we just really have fun, try to get the crowd hyped up and uh, really let the uh, country know that, hey, we got Tiger Pride here at EWC. Okay, and I understand this is a significant game every year. You guys do a little something special. This year's the Orange Crush. Yes. Can you give me a little bit of history about what else you guys have done on this? Time? Basically, what we do because this is our biggest rival. These are two of the oldest historically black colleges and universities here in the state of Florida. So this such a rivalry between Edward Waters and Florida Memorial. Each and every year we have something different for this particular game. Our first year a few years ago we did a whiteout. Last year we did a Purple Rain night, and tonight is Orange Crush night. So try to mix it up. Try to get the student body behind uh, the, the basketball teams here and. Uh, the the uh, crowd has really taken to it. The students have taken to it. It's really been a lot of fun. And for you, what is the best part about being announced at these games? This, uh, just getting the crowd hyped up, the music playing, the band playing in the background, uh, getting everybody loud and enthused and really showing their type of pride. That's the best part of this job. Thank you. All right. Dennison, the associate head coach. Yes, ma'am. With uh, EWC Tigers. Can you tell us a little bit what, about what your expectations for today's game is? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Florida Memorials came out, and they're always a big rival mm -hmm. for uh, Edward Waters, so the crowd is out. And uh, we expect a good game, and we expect our players to play hard, as they always do. Okay. Looks like we're down a little bit right now. What's going, what's going to happen going forward from here? Oh, uh, well, we need to ex execute the press break. They're pressuring us, so once we get it past their pressure, we need to ex start executing our offense, and that's what's not happening. So in the second half, look for that to happen. All right, we All thank right. you very much. Thank you. It's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. We are live with the coach, Coach Frank. This is an annual game that you do. This is a big rivalry, I understand. Are the guys ready today? We hope so. Uh, we didn't play well against them last week at their place, and we hopefully we're looking to redeem ourselves. Okay, what's the game plan today? Uh, a lot of good defense and rebounding the basketball. We uh, got out rebounded at their place, and so we know we have to correct that area. Okay, how's the program doing so far this season? Well, we've been playing up and down with two, 10 new guys in the program, but uh, we think we're a work in progress. We're going to come around doing conference tournament time. This is the coach, head coach. We're going to see what he has. He says his guys are ready, and we'll stay tuned for it. Thank you.
This is Tara. This is before the men's game. I'm here with Mike. Mike, you are the? Uh, small forward. OK. And are you prepared for today, Mike? Yes, ma'am. More than prepared. Okay. What are you gonna what What are you gonna do to pull this game off today? What's the the, the game plan? Uh, we're gonna play together, rebound the basketball, and just have the most energy. Like we're gonna bring all the energy. We're gonna bring it all out tonight. Okay. And this is a big rivalry game, correct? Yes, ma'am. How have you guys done against them in the past? Uh, well, we played them last weekend. We didn't do very well, but I feel like this time we we have more to fight for. So right. I'm a candid poetry TV fan. Thank you. Right. Good luck. Yes, Here we are at the women's game. It is four minutes and 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Right now the score is 39 to 42. It looks like Edward Waters College is making a comeback. They were down by a few more points at the half. Looks like they're steady trying to make a comeback. The coach said that they would. Um, he has executed some plays to reverse the press. Uh, pressure that Floyd Memorial has been applying and has been effective until now. Stay tuned. We're going to see what else happens. Waters College has taken the lead now the score is 43 to 42 the fans are excited they are on their feet as you can see behind me the band is doing their chant this game is a barn burner at this point hey I am in the band section now we've got a band member that seems to be really turned up we're gonna see if we can get them to give us a little bit of something <laughs> hey sorry what's your name Calvin Bennett Calvin Bennett Bennett as well okay How's your team doing? Oh, we're doing good, Nasi. We're up by one point, and we're trying to take the lead by about 25, so we can go and send them home. You feel me? That's right. Thank you, Calvin. Hey, it's your girl, Tara, with Candid Poetry TV. I am here with the Purple Passion at with Waters College Dancing Girls. Ladies, is this a big game for you all? Yes, yes, so far, yeah. <laughs> okay, and what do you guys expect to win? To win, uh, hopefully. I'm understanding that you guys are the most spirited bunch in the gym. the EWC Tigers band. You have the horn section giving a little fanfare. They are loud and proud tonight for Orange Crush Night 2015. It's the halftime show. with Candid Poetry TV. We are in what has to be the liveest part of the gym. <laughs> I have the Edward Waters College twins with me, Whitney yeah. and Brittany. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this game every year. Well, every year, this is the rival game, so it gets wild, you know. We hope to win. We won last year, so we're going to take another one today. You see the score? 49, 46. It's our game tonight. And the boys next. We're going to win that one, too. Oh, okay. And what's the best part about being a student here at EWC? We always live. It's our HBCU. We the oldest in the state. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I 
I get you ladies to do me a favor? What you want to do? Look at the camera. And on the count of three, I want you to say I'm a candid poetry TV fan. Okay. One, two, three. I'm, I'm a, a candid, candid poetry TV, TV fan. Woo! Go Edward Waters. Go Edward Waters! Hey, it's your girl, Tara. We are here with some of the students. Can I have your name, sir? Christopher Dixon. Christopher Dixon, what year are you here? I'm a freshman. Okay, and where are you from? Jacksonville, Florida. All right, and what is the best part about being a EWC student? Um, well, one, because I'm black, and two, there's multiple opportunities out here that EWC offers us, like different kind of scholarships and stuff. Okay, and this is your first year at this rivalry game. What do you think about it so far? Well, I believe EWC is going to win, so, yeah. I'm a Kansas yes, Ford TV fan. I'm sorry. We're going to do it again. In my office, your shirt. Stanley gave you a meeting, and I told him you lost weight. You look good, but you need to lose a lot. Don't you cut the shirt. You need to cut the shirt. Real good. 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 Real It's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. We are live at Orange Crush 2015, Edward Waters College versus Florida Memorial University. This is a huge rivalry. The girls just pulled off a win earlier today. We hope that the boys do the same thing. This game has been electric. The fans are on their feet. Everyone is excited. This is their rivalry game. Stay tuned. Hey, it's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. We are live at Orange Crush 2015. The Lady Tigers just pulled off a win against their rival, the FMU. This is Bianca we have with us. Bianca, how do you feel about today's game? Um, I feel great. I feel like we worked hard as a team. We came, we pushed, and we fought back. And that's all that matters. I feel like we got our momentum in the second half, and we just controlled the whole game from that, from that point forward. And what year are you here? I'm a junior here. Yes. Did you guys win last year? Um, I, I didn't play last year. I'm a transfer. A transfer. Okay, where are you from? Um, I'm from Miami, Florida, but I went to Fort Valley State. Oh, I went to Fort Valley too. <laughs> Small world. All right, well, thank you very much, and congratulations on the win today. You're welcome. Hey, it's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. We are here live with Coach Roberts, the defending middle school champions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coach, what brings you out to this game today? Uh, me and the guys, we've been working hard, preparing for the upcoming season. I figured I'd give them the night off, so we came out to watch EWC win, join the game. Okay, and when does your season start? Actually, we start up in January. We've just been having a couple of scrimmage games, working hard, conditioning, just getting ready for uh, to defend our championship. Okay, so are the boys ready? Uh, yes, ma'am. I think we're pretty much, well, we got a few tweaks that we got to work on, but um, I think by January the 12th, by the time our season starts, we should be ready. Okay, and you have a lot of returning students this year? Actually, yes, ma'am. I'm surrounded by a lot of these guys that played on that championship team last year. They were 6th and 7th graders, some of them 7th and 8th graders this year. Okay, okay. So looking forward to big things, definitely out of my returning guys. Okay. Can I get everybody to look at the camera and on the count of three? On the count of three, we going G. No, let's go on the count of three out east. Out east on three. Out east on three. 
One, two, three, Ardis. Hey, we are in the first quarter of the game. Right now, EWC does have the lead. The score is 20 to nine. We are hoping that they continue this lead and press forward. The fans are excited. The coach seems pretty confident. We spoke to some of the players earlier. They're confident. They're convinced that they have what it takes to pull this win off today. <laughs>
are live. Take a look at them. This is just a preview of what you'll be seeing at Greek Night in February coming soon. Supporting FMU, what? Florida Memorial University. Yeah, we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna bring it back. We're looking good. We're okay. What you guys gotta do to turn this around? We just gotta keep hitting. We just gotta hit some shots, not some shots down. Okay, is this your first? Is this your first uh, rival game that you come to? Yes, yes, it is. What we're do you think? Right. We're gonna be all right. We got this. We got this. What do you think about the atmosphere of the game today? Oh, it's nice. Love it. Love it. All right, okay. You wanna uh, give a plug, a shout out? I love candid poetry <laughs> TV. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Andy Francois. He is the livest fan here in the stands. Sir, what brings you out today? I'm here to see the EWC play basketball and hopefully to be uh, Florida Memorial College. Okay. Are you a student here? Yes, ma'am. How long have you been here? I'm a freshman. It's a freshman. Okay. And what do you think about your first year? Uh, it's pretty all right. There's a great community. Everyone here is friendly. It feels like a second family to me. Okay. Are you, where are you from? Naples, Florida. Oh, so you came pretty far to come here. Okay, what do you think about Orange Crush? Uh, I mean, my school always had Orange Crushes. I always attended to them. And I'm guessing this is pretty good. Okay. You want to give a shout out to anybody? <laughs> shout out to my mama in Miami. I love them. Right. Shout out to Dio, my crew. I love them. <laughs> shout out to my city, Naples, Florida. I love you. Yeah! My name is Andy Francois. Hopefully, y'all will be seeing this pretty face more often because, you know, I'm a star. All right. Thank you, you Andy. Like my you like my flexes? I love them. <laughs> thank you.
It is 36.6 seconds left in the second half. This game is about over right now. The EWC Tigers are at 63. The FM, the Florida Memorial is at 53. This is a 10-point game with 36.6 seconds. I feel safe to say that EWC has secured another win, the men's basketball team today. Orange Crush 2015. We got all the mascots celebrate. This is Orange Crush 2015, Edward Waters College and Florida Memorial. These kids are having a ball. This is what it's all about. This is the experience. Hey, it's your girl Tara with Candid Poetry TV. This is Orange Crush 2015. This was a very successful night. Mr. Cromartie, can you tell us how you feel about the results of the night? You know, it's always exciting uh, when we can especially get two wins. You know, the women's won early and the men's team won uh, tonight. But it's just good to see that, you know, the kids come out. You know, it's the last day of school. You know, we're very excited. to playing our arch ride right before the memorial. I mean, just it's a good night out, you know, for the uh, Edward Waters College Tigers. It was, and we appreciate the invitation. We had a ball. This has been a absolutely fabulous event. We're going to tell everybody about it. We'll definitely want to come back next year. Absolutely. We thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs>